Hi, and welcome, everyone. We're the Stardusters Big Band out of Clarkston, Michigan. You can check us out on the web, stardustersbigband.com. We'd like to start things off tonight with one of the most famous big band songs of all time from 1939 in the Glenn Miller Orchestra. This one's called In the Mood. Here's a great Ted Heath tune from 1958 and a fantastic arrangement of Autumn Leaves.
we'd like to welcome to the microphone our featured young lady vocalist, Miss Olivia Van Gore, on a great 1950 Milton Delug tune, and we're going to swing it for you. This one's called The Orange Colored Sky. I was walking along, minding my business, when out of that orange colored sky, well, bam, Alex is there, wonderfully came by. I was humming a tune, drinking in sunshine, when out of that orange colored moon, well, bam, Alex is there, I gotta look at you. We'd like to welcome to the microphone the gentleman who does all of our male vocals tonight, Mr. Mike Boney. This song's from originally from 1928 in the Three Penny Opera. It didn't really do anything back then, but Bobby Darren took it and swung it up. So Mike Boney's going to present for you Mac the Knife. Rash, I'm such a 
This next song is going to feature our trumpet section from the Buddy Rich Band in 1983. This song is called The Dancing Men.
as rock music progressed, the horn sound became very dominant in the late 60s and early 70s. This is one of our favorite horn rock songs from the band Chicago. It's going to feature Mr. Michael Boney on the vocals. This one's called Make Me Smile. We'd like to welcome to the mic Miss Olivia Van Gore to do a great 1947 song written originally by Thelonious Monk for his very good friend, pianist Bud Powell. This is called In Walked Bud. Something in Walt, but and then they got into something. Fire, flame, 
a mean sex, Mr. Max Roach, played a mean act. Punk was something, big one fight, and they got into something. Every young son really does, but when he told, they did not know nobody wrote, ruling it down. Sophia for the mean street, Don and Dizzy played a hip thing. Here's a great Mark Taylor arrangement, originally done by the Miles Davis Quartet in 1954. This song is called Four.
This one's originally from the pen of Mr. Jerome Kern and Oscar Hammerstein, 1934, and originally recorded by Fred Astaire. We're going to make this a duet with Miss Olivia and Mike, and the tune is called I Won't Dance. song that kicked off the swing era and put the Duke Ellington Orchestra on the map in 1931. This one's called It Don't Mean a Thing If It Ain't Got That Swing.
next tune is going to feature our marvelous saxophone section with a great Dave Bardoon arrangement from a film from 1972, originally written by Mr. Henry Mancini. This is called The Days of Wine and Roses. This next song is from one of the longest running musical shows in American history, which started in 1952 in Philadelphia, and its new host came in in 1957, Mr. Dick Clark, and that's when this theme called Bandstand Boogie was the hit of the American Bandstand.
from the library of the great Motown music right down the street in Detroit. This one is a temptation hit. We're going to bring Mr. Michael Boney to the microphone to do Ain't Too Proud to Beg. and the late great Mr. Otis Redding. This one is called Pretty Little Thing, Let Me Light Your Candle, because mama, I'm too hard to handle. Can't 
Cause mama, I'm sure I'm gonna not mess around. Mama, I'm sure I'll be coming out of this friend. From the pen of Mr. Burt Backrack and Hal David, here's Miss Olivia Van Goor doing a Sergio Mendes and Brazil 66 tune from 1967. How about that? And this is called The Look of Love.
This is a tune from the great Mr. Cole Porter, all the way back from 1929, Miss Olivia Van Gore doing You Do Something to Me. From the horn rock band, The Ides of March, One Hit Wonder, from 1970. This one's called Vehicle. Stop. 
This song is Miss Peggy Lee's signature tune from 1958. Here's Miss Olivia Van Gore with Fever. This is a great swing song with an arrangement by our lead tenor saxophone player, Mr. George Sinnott, originally from the pen of Mr. Louis Prima in 1956. This was also done by the Brian Setzer Orchestra. This one is called Jump, Jive, and Wail.